Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Odin Sphere. Well, let's, uh... Continue on here. Oh, apparently, these guys decided to show up. Well, I'll take the free foes on. Hi. Okay. Let's head down here. I think this is probably the five star stage. I'm going to assume it is. Cubs pain. Don't really care. Foes on burst. Ow. Use our little elixir. Weird little graphical bug there. I don't know if that'll show up. How did that guy not die? Ooh, a butterfly. Where is it? There it is. You know what? Great, we're going with the slowdown again. He didn't die. Uh. Oh wow, I knocked that sword right into that goblin. Uh, I don't think I killed that guy. Oh, another way you can kill those slime enemies? Uh, you can actually knock those swords into them. But of course that requires that there actually be a sorcerer in it. To be honest, that's a real pain in the ass. But I suppose it could be useful if you're using, uh... Cornelius. If you're still back there. You know, if you're like, here with Cornelius. Let's see. I don't think I have any materials, right? No. Close to getting it. Now I have a material. Uh... Let's see if I can get one more. That was a four-star stage. Let's see what's down here. Wonder if I already did the five-star stage. I don't remember. Two turnies. Could the enemies load? That would be nice. Thanks. Should not take that long to load. Let's just take out that sorcerer real quick and easy. Damn it. That was a cool move, too. Come on. Oh, come on. These guys are so obnoxious. Really? Okay. We're going burst damage route. He's not cooperating. Oh, and of course, now he cooperates. Oh, hell no!
I am not taking on that many sorcerers. Are you crazy? Oh, and by the way, the game does not take into account that you're fighting sorcerers, and you're still expected to complete the stage just as quickly. Which is asinine. Okay, he's almost dead. I'll just cut him. There we go. This is probably the five-star stage, if I had to guess. Alright, napalm time. Hit that sorcerer. Damn it! I don't know how I hit the guy. <sighs> Good, he's finally dead. I don't know how you're expected to clear this any faster. Unless you just spam the crap out of magic and items. Uh, very close to getting that. Yeah, let's just keep going. So close to level 35. Of course, now it's going to take forever to load a menu. Almost got enough for. Well, actually, I do have enough for an amulet. Because I think I have the... Here we go again. I don't know why it does this. There's other times when it doesn't do this. I, I don't know. Asinine. I could probably... Fuse some stuff here. Yeah, fuse that for a 7. And then fuse that for a 10. I don't even know what I just fused. I know the pouch it. I don't know what that item was down there. <laughs> I don't really pay attention to the accessories. They're almost completely worthless outside of, like, three. <laughs> Either because they're too expensive or they're just not very useful. Although an adversity ring can actually be really powerful if you have, if you have like 1 HP. Uh, you can use a, a variance to get yourself down to 1 HP, have an adversity ring equipped, and you'll have 1 HP and uh, after your first attack. And you can do a ton of damage that way. It's actually really powerful, but of course, conversely, you'll die in one hit. So I don't really think it's that worthwhile. Alright, got this idiot. This should be easy enough. Painkiller. Unlimited pow. He'll probably jump and hit me, but whatevs. Shadow form. And beat the crap out of him. They stunt. This guy stuns pretty easily, actually, for a boss. Well, mini boss. Overlord would be nice, but... Oh well. Critical hits are nice, that's for sure. Let's do that. Oh, I think I am going to get to level 35. If I can get one more 90, I'll definitely get it. apple pie. Sounds disgusting. Although I do like apple pie. <sighs> Let's see. I guess the game is just not going to give me a, a material. I do actually have a couple of rose meals I could plant uh, for some experience. 
Why do you do this game? This is ridiculous. As if the game's gonna answer me. <laughs> okay. How many do I have? I have one. I have just one. Okay. Well, that could be useful if I'm close. Oh. Of course I get dizzy. I got dizzied in mid-air. Oh. Okay. That's... Unlucky. RNG does not like me today. It's good to know. Could you die, please? I gotta go shadow form so I can kill this... Oh, that was a... I'm sorry, Habanaristo. I didn't mean it. I swear. Of course, I can't do my fourth hit there because I would have jumped into the sword. Gotta be careful for stuff like that with Oswald. Well, I'm definitely not gonna take on the boss, that's for sure. Aha! And here's the map. There's the shop. There's another stage up there. I am definitely getting this. So, let's go ahead and plant a muggle seed and a rose meal. If I can find the damn thing, which I never can. I have so many seeds in my inventory. Let's go ahead and plant that one, too. Uh, I'd like to complete that mini-boss stage. Oh, I got some more money there. What am I doing? Don't, don't leave money lying around. That should work. I will take those extra Fozons. That's it. You would do that to me, but that's okay. I have another material now, and I just gotta find it. There we go. Make this into a... Nine. Question is, what do I need, actually? I have two unlimited pals. I need another painkiller. Yeah, I need a painkiller. That shouldn't be too difficult. And that'll cover me for the rest of the game. Or, not the rest of the game, the rest of this book. Should, anyway. 90. That'll do it. Now I just need to get a 92. Oh, someone asked me uh, why I drop things all the time. Uh, it's just due to the nature of the game. You're encouraged to drop things for inventory space. Because there comes a time when you just have to make a decision of what you want to keep. And you just don't have the inventory space to keep everything you could possibly want. So there may be a time when you want to drop a seed for a Mandragora or something like that. And selling stuff is just not very useful, to be honest. You just don't get very much money for selling things. Buying and selling really seems like an afterthought that was just thrown into the game last minute. Because there's really nothing that great to buy, and even when you sell things, you don't get anything higher than a 1G coin. The, you just get the Ragnanoval hey, Silver, which you don't look is so not very good. useful to you. I've got some medicine and materials, you could wait to get I'll one of those to discount. fuse away stuff, but unless you get it on that stage you run out of space on, that's not really going to help you that much. You could buy napalms. But I mean, like, why would you ever buy a napalm when you can make one? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I need a I need a uh, amulet. So let's do that. Now, I'd like that Jupiter Bangle, but there's just no way.
Uh, I really don't need any seeds anymore. So, I mean, I'll sell them all. And you'll see I'll get very little money in return. I mean, I could sell the Mandragoras too, but even they don't sell for that much. Well, actually, you know what? I might actually get enough. But, I mean, look how many seeds I have to sell to get any sort of amount of money. And wow, I'm really close. I actually kind of want it now. But I mean, I've sold pretty much everything in my inventory. And I still don't have enough. Sell that. And I don't need that onion anymore. And... That actually gives me enough for the Jupiter Bangle. But look how much I had to sell to get this. And again, it's all Ragnanival silver. Not that useful to me. I mean, you saw my inventory was full before, right? Now look at it. That's how much you have to sell to get anything decent in the game. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, normally... Actually, well, there was a 20 gold coin there, but... Oh, well. Normally, I don't go this long, but... Let's just go ahead and finish this stage up, because we're, go we're about to get Overlord. Use that Painkiller up. Use that Unlimited Pow. Uh, I'm actually running out of painkiller again. As annoying as that is, I, I actually have an extra regeneration. Oh, no, I don't, because I got one for this stage. Uh, but, well, there's only too many bosses plus the final boss, so I have enough, uh... Um, what do you call it? Uh, painkillers. And I really don't need a painkiller for the final boss, to be honest. Wow, that was easy. Alright, I will take... Come on, level me up. Level me up. You didn't level me up. There's gotta be more Fozons. There's got to be more Fozons. Goes on release. And once more. There we go. Level 35. We get Overlord. And now Oswald is absurdly powerful. Make sure we did all the stages. Not going to equip that Jupiter Bangle yet because I want to equip that amulet which I need to protect myself against the frog status the boss is going to do it to me or attempt to do to me and then come the epilogue I'll equip the Jupiter Bangle I mean you combine a Jupiter Bangle with Overlord Painkiller, Unlimited Pow, and Shadow Form and Oswald just wrecks so much stuff it's, it's insane he can keep up with Mercedes but Mercedes still has the range advantage and just... Mercedes just kicks so much ass. Her base attack power is also much higher. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Uh, you get a 20 minute video this time. And uh, next time we'll... Uh, we'll take on uh, the boss. We'll try and save Gwendolyn. Thanks for watching. Take care.